Hey, welcome to another episode of BeersAndBars.com. It's a Sunday. It's still March Madness. If I would turn this sucker around, I'd be watching. Uh, you'd be able to see I'm watching Michigan State and Virginia. It's a pretty good game. Uh, it's early in the morning, about 10:52, so it's not that early, but it's Sunday. And um, decided to do a quick beer review here this morning, this Sunday morning. And what I wanted to review with you guys. Or just taste what you guys, I guess, is Rogue Sriracha Hot uh, Stout Beer uh, from Rogue Brewing over in Oregon. Um, first of all, uh, I guess I was one of those kids who, uh, I'm the reason they they put the cornflakes in the markets in the middle, in the middle section where kids can reach because I guess I was always big on marketing and this is one of those that you just couldn't resist picking up a bottle. Um, it's just the, the marketing and I guess just the uh, curiosity of wanting to uh, taste uh, a sriracha stout you know because usually when you think about stout you think of uh, um, uh, roasted uh, that roasted taste uh, roasted maltiness and stuff like that so it's it's, it's interesting because usually when um, well I mean the, the hot ones I've tasted are usually lagers uh, the ones with spiciness in it are usually uh, lagers that I've tasted, so it's going to be interesting to taste how they how they mix that that roastiness with that uh, pepper uh, flavor. So, if you're interested in picking up a bottle, I think I picked this up um, Costco for about twelve ninety nine. So, it's out there. So let's enjoy this together. Cheers. Right. Now, off the top, obviously the color is a stout. Pretty nice, nice uh, brownish head here. The aroma is typical stout. You could really uh, smell the toasted aroma coming out. So it'd be interesting where they where they put the the sriracha because it's not, it's not coming up in the aroma. So let's see where it comes out. You can definitely taste it when you when you're drinking after the first uh, drink goes down. You could you could feel the that you're about to get hit with some pepper at the very end. You get hit with a little bit more, but then it subsides, uh, so it's not overwhelming. And right now I'm really getting that toastiness, like uh, when you finish drinking like a like a, a drink from Starbucks. Like a like a mocha latte or something like that at the very end. That's what you're tasting right now. So it's pretty good. It's the uh, spicy part of the sriracha is spread out. So you taste it as you're drinking. You feel uh, then when you're done, you get it on the back end a little bit, but then the roastiness kind of eases off. That's pretty good. Um, there's nothing spectacular about this. Uh, it's, interesting beer so if you ever you know wanted to see what sriracha and beer the combination tastes like it's perfect and you know I might keep the bottle just because it's a it's a unique thing it's something you can put on your shelf you know interesting um, item to speak about when your friends come over like what's that oh that's a sriracha beer and hopefully it'll be around for a while so we could uh, try it again all right guys well I do have some Hopefully, upcoming news coming up. I recently participated, um, well, recorded for a podcast uh, with a good friend, jazz musician. His name is Marcus Singletary. Uh, check out his stuff. You could just go online, type in Marcus Singletary, and his uh, CDs will pop up. He's also available on Amazon. Um, so if you want to check out some uh, a real good musician, go check out Marcus Singletary. But like I said, he's... he's uh, 
making a podcast and he asked me to record a segment on, on uh, beer. So gladly I, I did it and uh, whenever it goes live I'll let you guys know where to listen to it and uh, you guys can uh, check me out and see what you think about Marcus and uh, what I said. Alright guys, well thank you for spending this Sunday morning with me and if you haven't done so already, have a great beer. Thank you for watching beersandbars.com beer reviews.